Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, last week, I posted a video that Microsoft had started killing off and disabling the Cortana app on Windows 11 devices. And I'll leave a link to that video down below if that would be of interest. Now, just to let you know, and according to Windows latest, that now Microsoft has started doing the same in the release preview channel with a recent new update to Windows 10 in the release preview channel where they are now turning off Cortana on Windows 10. And the release preview channel, as many of you will know, uh, is the release just before it rolls out to the stable version. Now, apparently, um, the new Windows 10 update has turned off the digital assistant. So Cortana is a digital assistant. And as you can see um, in the stable version, my Windows 10 version is still running Cortana. It is still working fine. So obviously, um, this is going to be rolling out shortly uh, to the stable version, possibly in an up-and-coming update. And the latest uh, release and version for the Cortana app in the stable version is version 4.2204. And apparently, the Cortana version that Microsoft is ending support for on the app in the release preview channel is version 4.2308. So obviously that's our next version upgrade for Cortana, which will then turn off the app on Windows 10. And this is all in line with, my, with what Microsoft um, announced back in June of this year, which I did post on, where Microsoft announced that starting in late 2023, they will no longer support Cortana in Windows as a standalone app. So obviously this process now, um, first Windows 11, now Windows 10. This is now Microsoft moving in that direction where they are starting to deprecate Cortana as a standalone app because obviously Microsoft's attention now is focusing on Windows Copilot. And you can even see uh, in the stable version of Windows 10, there is no option to uninstall Cortana, um, which, is a which is not a default option. Although in the Canary channel as well, which I posted on maybe a day or so ago, uh, Microsoft has started rolling out the option to be able to uninstall Cortana from Windows 11. So that's another move um, and indicates that Microsoft is moving towards um, deprecating Cortana eventually on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, um, according to Windows latest and a screenshot provided, when you do open the app, you get this a new message that says Cortana has been deprecated. Very similar to what I posted on last week with Windows 11. And here we get the version of Windows 10 and the build in release preview channel. Obviously, Windows 10 version 22H2, OS build 19045.3208. So that's just one point release ahead of the current stable version. So this obviously will be taking place shortly with up and coming updates for Windows 10 and the Cortana app. And... Um, as, as many of you may know by now, on Windows 11, you don't need Cortana as a digital assistant because, as mentioned, Microsoft is now paving the way for um, the artificial intelligent assistant, which is Copilot, which basically brings a web container to the desktop and acts and operates very similar to Microsoft Bing. And at this stage, though, um, although that's happening for Windows 11 because Copilot has already been tested in the Insider program and is going to be a feature rolling out with uh, the 23H2 feature update of Windows 11, um, possibly starting late next month. Um, there is at this stage no alternative to Cortana on Windows 10. So it's going to be interesting to see where Microsoft goes with deprecating Windows, uh, sorry, the Cortana app on Windows 10. But nonetheless, um, just keeping you updated and in the loop. So if you do start seeing that your Cortana app isn't working on Windows 10 in up and coming updates, then this is the reason why. Because as mentioned, Microsoft has said uh, in a support document that starting in August 2023, they will no longer support Cortana in Windows as a standalone app, but you can still access powerful productivity features in Windows and Edge, which have increased AI capabilities. And although um, the actual standalone app on Windows 10 and Windows 11 is being deprecated, According to Microsoft, it will continue to be available in Outlook Mobile, Teams Mobile, Microsoft Teams Display, and also Microsoft Teams Rooms. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.